So, Draman, you got any Egyptian jokes that I can make? Oh, where do I begin? So much of their, so many of their deities practice incest. Their pyramids were actually not built by slaves, but actually skilled laborers. And, um, let's see. Uh, let's see, what else did the Egyptians do? Do you know what Egyptians have in their stomachs? What? Nile. <laughs> That's the best I can come up with, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, you're actually... This is the difference between me and you. You're actually going through all of these actual, like, stats and historical events. I'm just like, okay, what's the stupidest pun I can possibly come up with to start the episode on? Speaking of starting the episode, what's up everybody and welcome to Team Pizza Plays Renowned Explorers International Society. I of course am what the new and god damn Yvonne must be hot in that huge parka. Nah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't. <laughs> I know I use this quote a lot, but don't pay attention to that man behind the curtain. Don't, don't question it. Don't question it. Nothing's wrong here. Y you're just seeing it incorrectly. You don't understand our artistic vision, man. You just don't. You don't get my creative vision. Like, speaking of teenagers and Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, let's you know. continue. So, another fun, th another fun facet of puberty. For those of you enjoying our little talk here, proving that we're going to be great parents. Is... I remember I was talking to someone about... Where I was talking to someone about the differences between guys and girls' puberty, mm -hmm. and we just came to consensus that that both have it rough, but in different ways. See, girls, you know, objectification, the menstrual cycle, and all that, and they have a lot of social stigmas, and it, and they're more social. So if they're having social problems, it's far more of an issue. Guys, because they're meant to be because they're supposed to quote unquote be stoic and manly if you're you know a 12 year old boy going through the difficulties of puberty and suddenly find yourself emotionally unstable as with any teenager people are going to go what the fuck is his problem <laughs> like like i remember the guy i was talking to said yeah i cried a lot in middle school and everyone including the girls thought i was a wuss and no one wanted to talk to me and i was like oh <laughs> And, you know, it's like, it, it, because I, it's just hard to really come, for a lot, because of that, it's hard for a guy to really come into their own because, well, how do you express yourself when you're supposed to now start, tamp, start you're supposed to now start putting a lid on expressing yourself because it's not manly. So I just always figured, yeah, everyone's got it rough with puberty, but Societally, we're conditioned to sympathize sympathize more with girls on the subject because yeah, they've got issues too. But I'm just saying it's we they're the ones that are supposed to be seen as more vulnerable, and thus when they start expressing themselves emotionally, we really give them you know yeah go ahead do it we give them leeway to go do it so guys not so much. I think what we're supposed to take from all this is that we're all human, and we should Thanks. be and as Bill and Ted once aptly put it, we should be awesome to one another. Exactly. But if you go on Tumblr, they're very much the opposite of that. Did you know that they hate guys who watch My Little Pony and Steven Universe? Oh, hang on a second. All your belonging. This is what we were... This is what we've been warned about. We just ran across the Anti-Explorers League. Or at least what I think they are. All your belongings are taken and then taken away to a prison tent where they're stored. When the guards ask, which one of you is the leader? The boss wants to talk to you. To negotiate some of the details. Assault the camp leader to express your feelings. Attempt to smash him in the face. We lose a resolve. Hmm. Do we take... I mean, either way we're gonna lose something here, but... Well, we're not gonna lose anything. May as well take the 44% chance to get something extra out of this. And apparently it was beyond even Yvonne's ability. Mm. Seems an aggressive attitude is out of the question in this camp. If you, if you ever use any kind of violence against my men during your captivity, I have the authority to make you an enemy of the state, which basically means exploring will become very, very hard. 
Exploring's being outlawed. How? <laughs> Leave the tent where you were locked up. There's some patrols of British goons moving around, but it seems pretty quiet otherwise. Uh, do we search for valuable... F no, it's only a 35% chance. Engage the guards, speaking only, or do we sneak past them? Uh... Spotted or spotted. I, I guess at least the 40% per chance to avoid being spotted. And... God, I fucking hate these people. They're Bond reminds big. everybody not to use physical attacks. I mean, we weren't gonna do it anyway. That's not exactly this team's forte. Yeah, we're kind of weak. Well, we've just got a different way of going about things. We're weak. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, wait, you're you're agreeing with me? <laughs> That's how it works. Like I know how to not di dig myself into a deeper hole here. I know how to avoid. It not only shuts down the argument, but it makes you look like the smarter person because you effectively turned around that situation. Uh, what? What is this feeling of defeat? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can knock out two of these guards in one turn here with a well-placed loud mouth. Ah, uh, not quite, but I do weaken them a lot. All right, so what do we got here? We'll attack Kiwi for one turn. Attack power is decre- Attack and speech are both decreased by 25, so Kiwi won't be taking too much damage. Not that I was worried about that, considering we just bought her some good boots. Oh yeah, boots. <laughs> Fumbling like crazy because of the extra grit. Hey. It's just impossible to hit. Oh, and they're also using a friendly approach, making us confident. Hi. It's the worst thing you could have possibly done. Now I'm going to insult you harder. Hey. Make give me confidence. Oh, I'll, I'll insult you out of spite. It's kind of counterproductive, isn't it? Like trying to fight uh, a devious team with a friendly one because most abilities will just make them confident anyway. That's why I built up this team the way I did because the only friendly abilities I have are all impressive. I just realized this team has no healer. Fuck my life. <laughs> I did it again. How did I do this to myself again? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I spent the I spent the entire run with uh, what's her face's team, Dolores. I spent the entire run with Dolores to complaining about that very fact, and now I've done it myself. Oh, well. I mean, things don't seem to be going... I'm just gonna shut up right now. Hi. No, 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 go on, go on, go on. Oh. No, go on, no, say. don't, don't, don't. No, no, you're saying something, go on. Say, go on. I was saying something. I choose not to say it anymore. Oh, yeah, for the sake on. of not... Po it's not a matter of poking the bear anymore, it's a matter of poking fate. And fate um. really doesn't like getting poked most of the time. Oh, we were just talking about it, girls, not more. Come on, go ahead. It's a good terrifying. Needs to be reminded of what'll happen to your grades if you don't pick up the pace here. Oh, it's going on your permanent Remember, Doug, how every every major threat was, it's going on your permanent record. I um here's an interesting note. I just wanna say this out there right now. I am so I'm so glad for the things I did learn in school. I'm so glad for the that I took the time to actually go through and learn the things I did because they have legitimately helped me out. Hold on. You walk through the entrance back towards the free desert when you hear something behind you. There's a silhouette of a person waving at you. That must be the one who saved you. Great. So even in the anti-explorers league, there are still people sympathetic to our cause. Anyways, yeah, school. Glad I was there. But I am also so incredibly grateful that I'm not in that bullshit anymore. 
Oh, tell that me. That I'm doing what I love now. Okay, oh, tell me. That I'm finally free of. Wait a minute. This is another temple. Why did I skip over that? I thought I was circling around the ultimate objective. Crap! <sighs> How do we fix this? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can still make it. Despite my stupidity, we can still do this. Mm -hmm. Temple of Thoth. Time to go exploring. Please look so distracted when you hear a click. Did you set up another trap? Really? Really, sweetheart, you're doing this to us again? It's a trap. Can she afford to lose armor? Especially considering the boss of this place is going to... Uh... Let's go with minus speech defense. She can afford to lose more of that. Then she'll just be average in every... aspect. I've got a golden jackal, a jade human, and a lapis lazuli ibis. Probably the golden jackal we'll take. Who goes for wealth? However, you hear mechanisms click. The walls start to shift, and a secret room reveals itself as a fawn pulls the statue away. It's plus five gold from collect. Nice! It made everything better! Yay! Full of gold, silver, and gemstones. The crew's so beguiled they fail to notice the rumbling temple. Everyone starts grabbing treasure. Oh, yay! Those who yeah. chill. Those who choose wealth deserve to be buried with their spoils. The crew finally mm. notices the whole place is coming down. You've got to flee as quickly as possible. Oh. oh, please, don't let us lose any more resolve. We've already gotten enough of a hit in the last mission. Quick thinking, Kiwi. Sprints forward some extra treasure. Nice! Hold that off, but now we've got to deal with scorpions. Oh, oh well. No. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna no. pay for your wealth one way or another. Not scorpions. No <laughs> one likes scorpions. Well, you avoided that... getting buried alive, but now you're gonna get stung to death. Uh, oh, mm. it's just... Oh. I've never seen a situation like this before. It's just Kiwi against one scorpion. Huh. Now, like, the character's is it a... spirit got broken or was wounded before the encounter. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Pretty sure I can deal with that. Uh, like just a Especially regular if scorpion? I start off the encounter this way and start poking the bear. Or poking the scorpion in this case, which, from somebody who lives in Arizona, that's not something you typically want to do. Are you kidding? Poking scorpions into facing cacti or the Arizonan way. What are you talking about? <laughs> I still can't get over that. That guy's probably going to be in jail for a decade if he, if they catch him. <laughs> for defacing a plant. <laughs> you wonder why I want to get out of this state as quickly as possible. Defacement of... Plants. We could find the hidden cache offense. of this expedition. Oh, god damn it! we lost some supplies off of that? Really? Okay, we're gonna take a hit. Who's gonna get hurt? Yvonne. Yvonne loses attack power. Okay, that is the lesser of many evils in this situation. <laughs> Plenty of bad, of worse things could have happened to us there. Things that could have actually affected our abilities in combat, but... Right. Let's take some campaign off of this one. Or, no, let's get some study where we can. We're gonna need it to boost up our team through exploration. Or, or through experimentation, I should say. On second thought, don't play the game of war. Someone needs to talk with the general. 45%, but it's better than everything else. No time for games. Force your way in. But that's probably gonna have a really bad effect later. Uh, but we lose resolve if this doesn't go the way I want it to. Mm. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, Yvonne. I know you've had trouble with the adventure wheel before, but... Yeah, I needed you to succeed through this. Which you did. I'm glad you did. Agatha's archaeological skills find something amazing. So we get both study and collect off of that. 
Ooh. Secret passage and a treasure room. I've never seen this before. So many things to find with characters with new abilities. God, I'm glad I took this new team. Have I said that before? I'm glad we broke convention this time. Mm, maybe you said it, maybe you didn't. A Thoth statue or a raw statue? God of the sun. Praise the sun. Praise Even though I hate Dark Souls, praise the sun. Well, Special hey, statue hey. to the Falcon God. Plus 20 to 25 gold from Treasure Hunt. Yes, so we improved all of our golden tokens. Woohoo! Let's listen in, in on this. With this with this curse release, the renowned explorers will be destroyed for sticking no their noses where they don't belong. With them gone, the anti-explorers will be able to keep the world's secrets. It seems like you and your explorer comrades are being cursed. You've got to stop them. Although cursing Rivalu wouldn't be too bad. Yes, kill him. Crew tries to find a passage, but there's none to be found. When you hear the men below are running away from ever-increasing red light, Agatha takes matters into her own hands and forcefully bursts open the door. You all fall down. Sacred Goddess... Okay, so... Those treasure hunters have completed the ritual to make war rise again. The segment stands before us. Okay, I thought things were gonna go a little differently there. Like, maybe we'd fight somebody totally different in this place. Hmm. By finding that secret passage, and maybe a different god would be released, but... Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. It's no just such. the same old shtick we always deal with. Same old song and dance, huh? Yep. Yeah. Same old Aerosmith references. Hmm. Hmm. I am my dad's son. I've realized that over the years. Because despite all of my pleading when I was a kid, I have actually developed his taste in music. <laughs> That's another part of puberty most kids don't want to go through is becoming their parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's not something to be ashamed of. And, well, okay. I need depending to on the around parents. the mood here to aggressive. I just realized that I keep forgetting how this battle works. Like I need to kill this enemy with an aggressive attack. That way we can change the mood completely, and I won't be suffering uh, speech def defense penalties. The sooner I change the mood to aggressive, the sooner she'll change her mood to aggressive means the sooner we can actually play this battle the way we want to. Mm. 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 I find it kind of funny that we're getting hugged by mummies here. Oh, and they're wrapped in blankets. They're kind of adorable that way. <laughs> adorable isn't the word I'd use, but... Well, you know. Hey! Uh, no. No, no, he he very clearly hugged me. He did not miss that. He, I, I, do, I don't, I. How do you miss a hug? I, I, you know what? Game logic. I think we just need to accept that and move on with our lives. It's game logic. I will never accept. I will always question. Which is a good practice to have, honestly. Because picking apart aspects of game design that do bother you, finding out why they bother you, it's it's a good practice. It is. It helps you make better games of your own in the future. Mm. Ah, take that guy down. Because I learned my lesson from the other boss battles. We need to clear out the small fry before we can focus down the boss. It mm. seems like it would be a better strategy just to take down the big dude. But when? Yeah. Oh, she already acted this round. That's why she can't move again. Right. Okay, I remember now. Uh, who is going to take the brunt of this assault? Probably you. That way me? your friends have to go even farther to get to me. Hmm. You know, we're tyrannizing for now, except when this turn starts, she's going to switch over to an aggressive attitude, or not. I think that technically counts as an attack still. Because it's not affecting our mood in any way. Well, okay, it's making her sad. 
<laughs> that was a sad hug. A very sad hug. I can give a sadder hug. I mean, no. Uh. Who and where and when and why? Give me all the details here. How to make this attack as powerful as possible. Give her some grit to work with. That'd be a good True. place to start. True grit. And how about a loud mouth to brighten up your day? <laughs> and by brighten up your day, I mean I mean make you so angry that you have to stomp off the battlefield. Go on, I could use a stomping. Let's, let's go with a little stomping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting I gave her that ability. Like, she attacks twice with Satin now. So just she just keeps pelting the enemy with insults. She's basically a high school student. Can we please change the mood to, to angry now? I mean, really. She's clearly pissed off. She's clearly, clearly wants to rip our heads off. Nah, nah, she don't want it hard. She don't want it bad enough. I'm gonna try and heal these guys a little bit before she manages to get her ass over here. That and kill this last mummy. Alright! Because she can do that. She attacks twice in a row. Alright, so... Now, what do we do? I don't want to make her confident. That's the last thing on Earth I want to happen right now. Confidence? No one likes that. Because it'll give her extra attack power. You don't want that. She's safe from attack for now, so I don't have to worry about leaving her impressed. Bastet just doesn't know where to go right now. She's completely lost in her own desert. I was like, eh, I've been asleep for... You can empathize, right? Because you've been asleep for thousands of years. The surroundings change a little bit. It's like, I just don't know how to navigate this place anymore. It's been too long. Tell me about it. You go to sleep for a couple of thousand years, think you catch a few Zs, then all of a sudden, you see these annoying, squishy little ants just blathering on about this these strange terms called politics and social and social justice, and then all of a sudden, then they're just they start killing each other, and you go, shouldn't I be doing that? <laughs> It's, it's kind of confusing. Then they start shooting at you with their big silver birds and their little green turtles with bullets and it hurts you and you just go, Oh, I gotta, I gotta do it. I was ex I mean, I mean, considering the status I had before, I was considering a bit of a warmer welcome here, but whatever yeah. floats your boat, guys. You know, if this is how we're welcoming now, I guess I'll welcome back. These are, I guess, these are customs now. Huh. The, the, the world really has changed. Hmm, yeah, funny how much the world can change in a day. Well, a day for me, a thousand years for you. But yeah. <laughs> kind of interesting this approach I'm taking right now. I'm. Bassett is also just co constantly running away from me. Hmm. I don't know why. It's like, shouldn't she be attacking at least one of my party members here? Only a few. You think? <laughs> the AI does weird things in this game sometimes, I've noticed. It's rare, but sometimes. It's oh. very... makes very silly decisions about how to handle battling. Yeah, there we go again. She just wasted her entire turn. Your entire turn. I wonder how this works. Like, how did I break her? Because if I could figure out how to do this consistently in the future, that'd be amazing. Hmm, can I exploit a bug in the game? I think I can. <laughs> hey now, it's not cheating. They haven't patched it out yet. <laughs> what glitch? That's a feature. Exactly! <laughs> Sonic Boom's taught us anything. <laughs> Knuckles for days. 
<laughs> you know there are other glitches that, in that game that no one patched yet? Mm, I did not, but I wouldn't be surprised. There was there was a Tails glitch, an Amy glitch. Do you know, do you know any of the details? Like what uh, they do? They basically do the same. I think the Amy one allowed you to just straight up go through walls, and the Tails one functioned almost like the Knuckles one. Okay. Trying to remember them exactly, but. Yeah, someone just speed ran the game by using all of those glitches. Mm. Oh yeah, like the... I think I actually saw that game at AGDQ this year. I know I saw some Sonic games. Yeah. You tell them about Sekhmet being raised by the anti-explorers to destroy the renowned explorers. Rivalu looks worried, but then continues. I'll handle this matter myself. Now why are we still here? This place has been explored. Let's move out. Hmm. So, he already knew. I wonder hmm. if we can continue that story, or is it- or if they meant- they meant to patch that a little bit. Make it even more impressive than it is. Look at all this gold! 900 off of one mission! And well, you know it. right after, right after I said that, oh, there's no point raising the shops up to maximum value, we're never oh. gonna have that much money. Surprise, surprise! Oh, what idiot would do that? Oh, who would do that? That's stupid. That's a dumb. Who would do that? Nah, stupid. Oh my stupid. goodness. Open mouth, insert foot. Oh, yeah. Alright. Got some extra supplies. That's something I'd like to have available to me. Uh. Look to ruins. I mean, how much study could we get off of this? Yeah, okay, three from that, or we could get three from here. All right, better. It even gives us a little extra money too. These extra jobs really are worth it. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. So. On our research papers. Let's take the extra treasure hunt every time we find a treasure. More money, yo. Oh, definitely. And even De more cash because we've got a treasure that actually improves it. Oh, who'd a thunk? Who'd a thunk? Go. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Who's the last specialist I wanted for my team? Quick thinker, engineer... Yeah, she can be a level 3 engineer. And if we get any bonuses associated with that, we'll be good to go. Agatha will learn that perk. She'll learn combustion. And here I was just saying, a couple episodes ago, oh yeah, uh, nobody teaches advanced tools. Apparently I don't know this game as well as I thought I did. I mean... We, I mean, you did learn how to exploit one of the a enemy's AIs. The athlete wrestling perk. Actually, that'd be really good. Because then Kiwi will have both survivalist and athlete perks. So she'll be able to climb the mountain at the end even easier. Or even more easily, sorry. No, no, I'm no, my no, own no. grammar Nazi. Don't, don't worry about it. No, you had it right the first time. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I know I didn't. Uh, you got to worry. You had it. You, you had it. You did well. You did People just good. love you... culture in this part of the Turkish baths. Like, plus collect whenever you get, get a cultural challenge. Plus campaign whenever you get a cultural challenge. <laughs> what? What did I say? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking back to the finger thing. Finger. Th oh, right. Yeah, gumball. <laughs> sell that. Give her a master memento. Actually, she needs more armor than speech defense. She's already a rhetorical speaker, so she's got plenty of speech defense to boot. To her some armor and replace everybody's books now with something resembling a good weapon. Yeah, look at that. Plus 14 speech power. I'm halfway tempted to upgrade the shop again. 
and start get wait 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 stop yourself okay don't all right i don't i almost sold that third book out of instinct it's like i'm gonna buy everybody of really masterful books not realizing in the back of my head wait i don't have enough money for that that would have been embarrassing that i'm gonna buy it that would have been really embarrassing I'm, I'm very glad I didn't book. do it. Hey, hmm, what's that gonna cost me? A book? I can sell that. I... Here's the thing about the Emerged Island. There's... I... Can we survive the battle this time? Like, can we actually <laughs> take them down? Like, our team's doing alright for themselves, they've got better equipment, they've got a tons and tons of perks, they're focused down on nature challenges and a lot of gold. Should we do it? Should we try to get revenge against the dead pirate? Yeah. Alright, next time on Team Pizza Plays Renowned Explorers International Society, we will return to the Emerged Island, and hopefully win this time. Until then, I'm What the Fnew. And I'm Driven. And we will see you again next time. Later, everybody. See you later.